have you join us on the program. I'm Melinda Kinlami on today's episode. We have an exhibition by Gold West Africa celebrating the beauty of the region's treasures in its history and culture. To your online creations. Then an exhibition that crosses borders. We have that and more in a moment, but as usual, let's hear from our wordsmith for this week. True Innocence by Victoria Bumi is our wordsmith for this week. Can you see through the spaces of my shadow? I am aimless and hopeless. Can I bring the color of my real being? No, I am a lame in my true being. The soul in me lost its pole. The me and me left alone. The image I claim, the image of pain. And the pain in me, the tears I share. Roaming a circle in squares, dynamism and challenges, mystery in encounters. I became troubled heavily at heart. It seems getting beyond my might. Pay back my decency. Sincerity with transparency. Accountability with devotion. Can all this be gone? File out my peace. I have been cut into pieces, shattered like glasses. Gather me again, the vibrant pen. Lovely words there by Victoria. To our first feature, which cuts across borders as artists from across the world come to the Art Hub in Lagos to show their latest works in an exhibition titled Being Together. Works of art from across continents meet at the Art Hub in Lagos during this international group exhibition tagged Being Together. Looking at the theme itself, being together, I personally, I observed most families, most um, you know, loved ones, they don't really have time for themselves due to maybe um, their occupation or some kind of um, um, work chores and all. All of these things takes more of their time. You know, they don't even have time to, for their kids. They don't even have time to even understand what is going on in the family at the moment all in the name of we want to make money for the family. You know, I think um, personally, if we can always find a means to, if we can find a means to reach out to one another, you know, as a family, let's see how we can spread love. We don't, we don't need to see ourselves physically. Wherever you are in the world, wherever the family is, they can always reach themselves. This, we are in computer age at the moment. We can reach ourselves through Skype, you know, through even WhatsApp, Messenger, and the likes, you know. So I, I feel um, the this, this connection of not being together is really affecting most young kids at the moment. As the title connotes, the exhibition features paintings, collage, drawings and sculptural pieces by artists from Nigeria, Germany, Brazil, Argentina, Thailand, USA and several other countries which emphasize that creativity is indeed a global language. So this exhibition is actually a great show, indeed, um, which we have um, 11 international artists from different countries, and we have um, 25 artists from Nigeria. You know, the aim of the exhibition is actually to project and also promote um, younger artists. You know, 
So um, we have um, the international artists, you know, to also promote some of their artists over there too, you know. So this is all about coming together, being together, preaching, um, talking about how we need to grow together. My work is titled Esteem, and it's um, a picture that captures that the emotions that you feel, like emotions that have to do with confidence, trying to um, overcome feelings of um, insecurity, inferiority, you know. Um, actually, the model that I use, it's a popular musician. Um, she inspired me to do the work because of a no makeup movement she started. And it talks about how women are pressured into appearing in a certain way. And they are pressured into, um, you know, feeling they are not good enough and all that. So that's what the work is about. The Art Hub 360 had to work with three other galleries to put this exhibition together to reveal the potentials of the creative mind and show how the pandemic has further emphasized that the world is a global village. Already, artists has always been in isolation before the pandemic. We artists were always in, in our studio, locked down, trying to create what we've not seen. So, but this period, when I said, okay, what is your take? What is, what is the artist's life during this pandemic? What has he experienced? What does this what is this has what does it has in for us to show to the public that this is what I've been passing through this lockdown, this self-isolation period, these trying times, you understand? So we now put this show together, being together in this period of love for us to express the what we have spent time with our loved ones, with our family, with our friends, in the society. So many things went on last year. You understand? Too many trying times in Lagos. Like you can see my work that shows about um, a Lagos life. Typical Lagosian in the lockdown period, which was a very chaotic period for all of us. But we just as employ artists to come and uh, share with us this wonderful experience that we have already en engulfed in ourselves to share our love. All the works we're seeing on display is about emotions, feeling, isolation, lockdown of the artist's mind that is showcasing today. My works um, in relation to being together talks about the contrast of it. And this is what I mean. Before you can be with someone, there has to be some sort of consent or agreement. So it means that one person or both of them have to open up to each other. So there is one of the works which is Dark Side. Actually, two of them. One is Dark Side 1, the other one is Dark Side 2. And then the third one is There Was a Time. Okay, so. Dark Side 1 and Dark Side 2, simply they talk about, you can't tell people from just the face value. So it is until they open up to you. So it means that for them to be able to feel comfortable around you or for you to be able to work with them, it means that there is a form of acceptance that they have given you. There's a form of trust where they've opened up and they say, you can come into my life. Until that happens, you can't judge anything from face value. So that face value is what we call Dark Side that you can't tell because every human just wants to show the perfect side. No one wants to agree that we're imperfect, but the beauty of humanity is our imperfections. Being Together features over 20 artists who use their images to reveal that no matter how far we live apart, we are connected. United in Arts, I love when creatives come together and for a good cause as well. And we see some of them on our various social media platforms. Let's begin with Aziz Abiodun's series called Shongu Market at Ibadan in Oyo State. It's done with oil on canvas. Then Shekere 
a mixed media work by Raji Folorunsho is showing us the beauty of this traditional musical instrument. Then break forth is what David is asking his viewers to do with his oil on canvas painting. Then the table before me is Prince Olat's work done with oil on canvas as well. Princess and Maids is an acrylic on canvas work done by Henry James. To the Kingdom of Children, done by Tosi Uyini, is done with offset ink on paper. Then Dolapo Ladapo is showing us his landscape painting done with color pen on paper. Another pen on paperwork is done by Ashi Elayo and he says we should be careful with what comes out of our mouth. It's titled Lip Clock. Bukola Orioye has inspiration done with acrylic on canvas. Then two heads are better than one, so goes the popular saying, but Samuel Adeyeru says two good heads are better than one, and he expresses this with his sand work of art. And those are the works of art you sent in this week. We appreciate you for sending them in and encourage you to keep them coming. Let's take a moment now when Art House returns. Gold Week Africa shows us why gold is worth the wait in an exhibition which attracted a global audience. Join us again. The principles of true art is not to portray, but to evoke, while art picks up where nature ends. The beauty and investment opportunities in gold, a precious metal which has been called the language of West African culture in Worth the Weight, is being showcased at the Gold West Africa exhibition in Lagos. Paintings, jewelry and ornamental pieces that tell the story of gold 
are displayed in this space at the commercial city of Lagos to some distinguished guests who came here to enjoy and get more knowledge about this item presented at the Gold West Africa exhibition. Today, Gold West Africa presents Lagos Love Gold, which is the fourth installment of gold initiatives that was started in 2020. It started in Kano and then went into Burkina Faso, uh, Ouagadougou, then went to Dakar in Senegal and finally ends here in Lagos. And Gold West Africa is all about bringing gold to the center stage and highlighting the potential of the gold sector in West Africa. Nigeria has a lot of gold and so it makes sense that we end the celebration in Lagos and we started it in Kano. Now what we are doing with this exhibition is really showing the story of gold and the links of gold with culture and history in West Africa. The works of art show the trade and development of gold and how the timeless treasure is important, not just to women, as seen in many parts of the images displayed, but to men as well, no matter where they come from. This initiative is a celebration. It's uh, showing a lot of uh, beautiful original artworks, paintings about the story of gold and also the role of women as custodians and treasurers of gold throughout the region. It also shows original art works that have been made by local artisans in the region with local gold, with Nigerian gold, and we're talking about jewellery. We have some jewellers here at Lagos Love Gold with their, with their gold jewellery, uh, showing their gold jewellery and selling their gold jewellery. Beyond the images are notes that give the audience an insight into why gold is truly worth its weight, as it's a huge part of the West African culture, as the region once upon a time was one of the biggest producers of this treasure. It's a way of reminding people that gold is really a language of culture and tradition and history, but also gold is about the future. Gold is a symbol of wealth, and it is right here under the ground in so many West African countries. This exhibition, which is one of a kind, is unique in many ways, as it features high-value products such as gold chains, rings, bracelets, besides the paintings, and it's also a history lesson for many. So there is so much to learn. So here you see gold in art, gold in design, gold in utility. So for example, you see the paintings um, going through history. Sometimes we have a collection here that's called Worth the Weight talking about women as the treasuries of gold in West Africa. Then we have um, Mansa Musa, the history and glory of gold in West Africa. Then we also have gold being mined. So that's the art, and it's also connected to gold, the women in jewelry and everything. However, you see gold in form that we make, luxury items. Nigeria is one of the biggest markets for luxury industry in Africa. So you, if you look around, you see objects made out of gold and silver. Um, and also jewelry that has been formed in gold and also bullion bars as well in gold and in silver. I have about 24 paintings here describing the, the value chain of gold in Africa and how in time um, Africans are, have been able to like um, relate with gold and they don't, they don't just relate with it alone, they, they, they make life out of it. And these things have gone ages back, even from the period of Mansa Musa. So if you, if you check this series of paintings I have, I have about four series that talks about the women, how the women use gold, how they use it to adorn themselves. Then the richest man that, that has ever lived, Mansa Musa, I talked about his journey from West Africa to, to Egypt and every other thing. So the idea behind the paintings is to actually talk about the richness of gold in Africa. Investing in gold has its rewards, as it never goes out of fashion or season. That's part of what the Gold West Africa exhibition has emphasized to the audience. A bit of history in that exhibition to make us better appreciate that precious metal. Now to our next segment, which I'm sure a lot of young creatives have missed. It's the video sent in by you on our various online platforms.
and for what to look forward to next time you tune in, take a look. On the next episode of Art House. Landscapes and Beyond is a salon of paintings presented by two artists. Then this young artist, Toju Clark, shows us the technique he uses to create art, which has a lot to do with his mobile phone. My art centralizes on characters. Um, I use characters of people I meet and some online. So I take their facial expressions and then I represent it in my own style. For that and more, stay tuned to Art House. Your Art House experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's Art House this week. Remember, you can always keep up with the program on any of our social media platforms. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Melinda Kinlami, encouraging you to stay safe and keep being creative.